Well, hey there, welcome back. My name is Natalie. This is Hey, It's a Good Life, and I'm so glad you're here. And this is my garden helper, Ruby. <laughs> and today we are going to show you how to harvest. <gasps> today I'm going to show you, we are going to show you how to harvest worm castings. And I'll show you how to harvest those worm castings as well as how to use worm castings in your garden. I will include chapters down below so you can hop to where you want to go and learn. So just know that. Okay, let's continue. <laughs> all right, so as you can see, this is my worm farm. And this is where I do all of our composting on our urban homestead. It is an amazing way to use two feet by three feet of space to make hundreds of pounds of compost. You guys have asked me why I have stacking bins and I'll get into that more in depth another time. But I have stacking bins to make more compost, just vertical, right? So just keep stacking up the compost and make as much compost in this one spot as possible. But guess what? I make so much compost in just six bins that I don't actually need all 12. It's amazing what worms will do for your homestead and how much compost you can make very quickly in a very small space. So I'm a big fan of worm farming. I bet you are too. That's probably why you're here. And I recommend it to anybody who has a small space who wants to get amazing compost really quickly. Now, earlier this week, I emptied all six of these bins into our garden beds, and it was enough to provide an amazing amount of nutrition back into the soil so that we can plant for our fall and winter gardens. And let's be honest, it's a little late, so it's gonna be more of like a winter garden at this point, but nonetheless, we are going to be using those castings to support our winter gardening endeavors. All right, so step one in harvesting worm castings and using worm castings in your garden is to prepare the earth. Now this may seem very straightforward to some of you more advanced gardeners. However, this was a huge point of confusion to me when I was learning how to garden and how to grow food. So I want to make sure to take a minute and clarify this. So as you can see in my garden, I have a cover crop of nasturtium growing. And in those areas where that crop is growing, it's important to remove it so that I can adequately incorporate the worm castings. I'm using this hula hoe, which is my absolute favorite tool for weeding these days because it just gets the job done so quickly. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Now in other areas of my garden, you'll see that the soil is a bit dry, like it is right here because I removed the cover crop and then accidentally left the soil exposed. So it got dry, developed a crust. And in those areas, it's important to basically turn up the soil a little bit. As much as I love no-till gardening, it's going to help the worm castings go farther to break up that crust. Now in other areas still of the garden, you'll see that there is still some leaves as mulch, and it's important to remove those and expose the soil underneath for better incorporation with the worm castings. Step two is of course adding those worm castings, and there's two ways to do that. Here's the first. Okay, so option number one for how to harvest worm castings is just dump and mix. <laughs> I know it sounds really basic, really easy, and it really is that basic and that easy. You absolutely can just dump your vermicompost into your garden beds, along with the worms, along with any unprocessed bits, and it's going to offer your garden so many benefits because now you're not only offering the vermicompost, but you're also offering the worms and any organic material that still needs to decompose. All of that is going to be great for your garden. Our beds that have the worms in them do really well. So we do a combo here. Sometimes we'll add the worms, sometimes we'll sift them out. It's really just kind of whatever mood we're in and we go with that. Um, but it really can be as easy as just dumping your compost with the worms and just mixing it in. All right, option number two for harvesting those worm castings is using a sieve. And my sieve is a very simple sieve. If you're on social media, you know that last week I hopped on TikTok and I started doing reels and I showed you guys how to worm farm on TikTok and on reels. So hopefully this isn't repeat for too many of you, but all you need to harvest worm castings and save the worms for another time is a sieve. And I made mine out of one by twos, a couple nails, a couple staples, and some quarter inch mesh and that is it. It's really, really simple. So the same idea applies. You're going to dump not all of the worm castings because it can be pr pretty heavy like that, but a decent amount of them and honestly just start shaking the sieve and you will start to see the worm castings fall through and any worms and uncomposted bits stay towards the top. 
Now, yes, sometimes worms do get through. That's totally normal, but you can see them pretty easily once they've been kind of broken apart from the vermicompost. So you can pluck those out and then re reintroduce them to their, their buddies that they were just hanging out with um, or leave them in the garden beds like we talked about before. The idea really is to separate the worms from the castings. And so what I'll do is just kind of sift and then just dump the worms just to the side of where I'm working and kind of create a collection spot for lack of a better word. And then when I'm done sifting through that bin, I'll go ahead and collect all the worms. And then you can add those worms to a new bin to get a new worm farm started. So it is a great way to save worms if you're wanting to save a certain amount of worms and, and keep your compost bins going. All right, so the last part of adding worms to your garden and harvesting worm castings is to make sure that you mix and water and cover. And here's what I mean by that, is that you wanna make sure you evenly distribute those sacred worm castings across your beds and then you wanna water them in so they have a chance to incorporate with the soil. And then after all of that hard work, you wanna make sure that you protect it with a layer of mulch. Now you can use any kind of mulch you like. If you live in a drier climate like me, a looser mulch is going to be your friend. But for me, I find that the simplest mulch in my area is leaves. And so we spent a good deal raking our yard and cleaning up around the house to gather all of these leaves. And I like to use our green waste bin to collect them. It makes it really easy to collect them and spread them. And then you have leaves to cover your entire garden. It's really simple, it's free, and it works great for our climate. Now, there are a couple more ways that you can use worm castings, things like teas and drenches and things like that. I do have a video though on how to make aerated worm tea for foliar feeding, and you can check that video out here. I'll go ahead and an i card an info card right here so you can check that out but there really are so many ways to use worm castings i hope today has helped you feel a little bit more confident in harvesting worm castings at home and using them in your garden hey hey did you find a leaf so that is how i harvest worm castings and that is how i use worm castings in my garden it's really simple i really feel like worms are for everyone you know maybe i'm a worm nerd but i feel like worms can be used in so many ways by so many people in so many contexts and I feel like they just they get overlooked and for those of you who know me and know my heart that we desire to have so much more here hopefully um, pretty soon you know worms can also be a way to steward those dreams of having livestock and they're so foolproof that it's like if you're not in a place to have livestock but you want to steward something it's a great way to steward something and to do that well so Anyway, I hope this video has helped you guys learn how you can harvest worm castings and use those worm castings in your garden to get those fall and winter gardens ready. I cannot wait to plant this garden with you guys. Thanks for joining me today, you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.